I don't know. My dad screwed me up pretty good. What do you think two dads would do to a kid? You really think it's such a good idea to bring a kid into the world with such a non-traditional family? I know somebody else from a non-traditional family. A African-American who was raised by a grandma. And that person seems to be doing just fine. Oh, yeah. Barack Obama. And I'm Ryan Carey. It's the new normal. And I can tell you, it is the most talked about TV show that is sparking a whole lot of controversy. Only no one has seen it yet. So what the heck's going on? What do you get when you add a single woman and a gay male couple who are trying to have a baby? Well, I can tell you, it is one hilarious show. I've seen it, I know. Only some people are not finding the premise of it so funny. The new normal stars Andrew Rennells, Justin Bartha, Georgia King, and Ellen Barkin. It centers around a gay couple using a surrogate to help them have a baby. Well, one NBC affiliate station in Salt Lake City, Utah, has decided they're not going to carry the show. The group One Million Moms has been protesting the show ever since they first learned about it. So what do the stars think about all the drama? Well, watch what happened when I asked them. Sadly, here we are in 2012. The premise of the show, the fact that Andrew and Justin, you, got, you guys play an openly affectionate gay couple having a baby with a surrogate, and that has upset people. One station in Salt Lake City, as you guys know, refused to run the show, although another one did fortunately pick it up. Andrew, you're openly gay in real life. Isn't it just still disturbing to you that in this day and age this is still an issue? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that it's um, it's uh, it's a little disappointing, and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's kind of a bummer that that's sort of what we were we were greeted with because uh, I mean, having you know worked so you know closely with the show and and, and seeing the pilot, um, sort of you know what I took away from it, and my family took away from it when they saw it was uh, just that it was a it was a story about the love that it takes to start a family. So um, yeah, it was it was a little it was uh, it was disappointing to be met with opposition, um, particularly because. It, it, you know, most of that opposition came from groups of people who hadn't even seen the pilot that I think were basing this on solely like a two sentence description of what the premise of the show was. So uh, it is a, it's disappointing that in this day and age that, that that alone is enough to to cause controversy, because I think after seeing the show, you would see that it's actually not very controversial at all. Yeah. Well, well, let's help people out right now, because personally, I think that everyone who may have a problem with the show or the premise of the show simply needs to watch this. Roll that, Charles. So why then does a beautiful, smart, seemingly sane person want to gestate someone else's child? Well, $35,000 is a huge chunk of money. I need a way to change my daughter's life. I want to go to law school someday. And you have no problem with doing this for two men? A moral issue with that? Oh, no. I requested a gay couple. I was driving, and I overheard a deranged homeless woman saying not-so-nice things about a lesbian couple. But all I could think was, a family is a family. And love is love. Right there. You got me in the heart. The show did its job. If that doesn't say it all, <laughs> I, I don't know what does. Uh, and the show does do a great job at addressing people's discomfort with the idea of a gay couple having a baby. Justin, we know you so well from your great role as Doug Billings in the Hangover movies, of course. Are you bothered now that you're in this fray that some people are bothered by this? Uh, no, I'm not bothered at all. I mean, I, I, uh, I you know, I, that's the one of the great things about our country is that everyone can have their own opinions and uh, hopefully touching on what Andrew said, that it's uh, an informed opinion. I, I think that uh, differences uh, in viewpoints is a lot of what our show is about. And I just hope it uh, can cause some kind of discourse and conversation uh, the day after they watch it, because I think that that's uh, the kind of television that I grew up watching. Uh, you, you can't wait to talk about it with your friends. and. Uh, love it or hate it, it's uh, hopefully we're giving you something to talk about. And, and more good news for you, I think a lot of people are going to be able to see the show, they're going to run into it even if they weren't planning on it because it was originally set to premiere next Tuesday, you got bumped up a day to a pretty cool time slot on Monday night right after the return of The Voice. Are you all getting together, having a big viewing party to watch the first show, Justin? Uh, we haven't talked about that, but I want to take this uh, <laughs> opportunity, thank you for bringing that up, to invite you over to my house oh. Oh. to watch the premiere when, of when The you, New Normal. When, when is, is it? Yeah. It is after The Voice on Monday, <laughs> oh, September Monday, 10th, and happening? then oh. to its normal slot on Tuesday, September 11th yeah. at 9.30. Well, you guys should come around and have tea with me on Tuesday. Done. See, here I am. It I'm here to help. CNN. I'm here to help and to facilitate and put you guys together out of the workplace. Great to talk to all you. You hammered it Best out. Best of luck. Hey, that's what I'm here to do. And I've never heard that before. Oh. <laughs>
Congratulations again, guys. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs>